Who here recognizes the following uh, expression? Y equals MX plus B. Who here remembers that expression from somewhere in their past? Y equals MX plus B. Okay, so that's what describes what's called a linear equation, and that's what this is all about. Um, plenty of topics on the ASVAB will, will be, can be solved by using a linear equation, but a linear equation basically is this. You have a beginning and you have an end, and you have something that happens consistently in between. One more time, you have a beginning and you have an end, and you have something that happens consistently in between. So that's how you can tell that you're dealing with a, a linear equation, y equals mx plus b, that's how you can tell. So before I continue, I'm gonna take 20 seconds for those of you, because we're gonna go through a series of these questions. The next three questions are about this. So I wanna make sure that before we get started, for those of you in the program, I gotta to cater to y'all because y'all are the ones that are making this happen. So what you're gonna do is when you log into the program, just take a look right behind me, right over here. Can everybody see the screen behind me? It should say arithmetic reasoning at the top. Can you see the screen behind me? Okay, great. So for those of you in the program, all you have to do is log in. And when you log in, you click arithmetic reasoning. This is going to pop up. This is your dashboard. Then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll right on down to unit six solving equations. And if you want to give it a go straight away and you want to test where things are at, if you want to test your speed, you can absolutely do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit retake right over here. And let me show you what you're going to see. You know what the speed drills are. They're there to help you get used to that test level practice, get used to the pressure. But the great thing is when you are done with these questions, you can retake it and you get brand new questions. Even better, let me go ahead and just skip to the end right over here. You're gonna have all these different types, all these different types here. And when you're done, here's what's awesome about this. You can go to the feedback report and every single question, I'm gonna explain it to you step by step with the numbers from the problem. That way you can see where everything fits. Because think about it. You have the Y, you have the M, you have the X, you have the B. Every question that's like this, you gotta figure out, hey, which one's which? Do we have the Y, the M, the X, the B? Which one are we looking for? How do we figure this out? So that's why I made it a priority to make sure that all the questions, including this one, you have step-by-step -step solutions. Every single step of the way for every single problem right there every single time and for the more complicated ones you'll see that i'll give you a little more detail a little more information as you go along so for those of you in the program do you see how useful this can be for you cool so again those speed drills that's just the tip of the iceberg just want to make sure that you are aware of all the different goodies that you have available to you especially with beginner lessons like turning English into math, the lesson videos, guided worksheets, everything you could possibly need to make sure that you're good to go. So um, enough about that. But again, that comes with the program. So if you want to join the program, stay till in the class. But for those of you that are in the program, I do expect you to follow the process and then test yourself out. I got you. So coming back over here, get that timer out. And let's get back to work here. So back there, perfect, and we're good. So here we go, first things first, everybody. We are gonna highlight what we're looking for, and that's gonna say right here, it says, if he already has blah, 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 and blah, 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 I don't really care about all that. I just care about what the question's asking me to find. That's after the who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following, that's all you care about. So with that, right here, what is the cost of the gaming system? So I'm gonna write that down. Gaming system costs, I spelled system wrong, great. System costs blank dollars. So everyone, is that okay with you? We are looking for the cost of the gaming system. So I'm just gonna write that down right there. Gaming system costs blank dollars, All right? Cool, sounds good. So next things is, uh, we're gonna go ahead and write down what we have to work with. So here's what we have. I'm gonna highlight everything in blue. So we are saving $45 per week. So let me write that down. 
saving 45 per week. Then it says, if he already, excuse me there, if he already has $463 saved and will continue saving money for six more weeks, then what's the cost? Okay, I still don't know where I'm going with this, but let's keep writing the information down. We have to stay calm here. So it's gonna say right here, 463 already saved. And then we have saving for six more weeks. It's right here, 463 saved, saving money for six more weeks. Saving for six more weeks. Okay, so it seems like we have a lot of information here, right? Seems like we have a ton of information, but let me show you the context where all this information is gonna fall under. And it's gonna be one equation that we've already said before, it's going to be y equals mx plus b. Let me write that down for you right here. y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to zoom on in here for a moment. Don't worry. I'm going to zoom on out in a moment. But I want to explain to you what each of these pieces mean. So everyone, b, that is what happens in the beginning. Let's write that down. b, that's going to be your beginning amount. And of course, I'm going to be giving you the, you know, the shorthand version, the Dr. Seuss version, if you will. I'm going to give you the short version. And in the program or in the lesson recordings where I go over specific classes like this, you'll see me go into much more detail. But for your sake, we are going to be looking at B as the beginning. M, who remembers what M stands for in pure math? It starts with an S. Who remembers what that stands for? Right, that stands for slope. Now, in real world problems, slope is the same thing as saying a certain R word. What's that R word? Rate. Rate and slope are the same thing. They truly are. Slope is what you use when you're dealing with pure math. Rate is what you're dealing with when you're talking about the real world. So M right there, that is your rate. That is your rate. All right, now from there, we just define what X and Y are. So let me be very clear here. Um, this is for the sake of this class today, just to keep things simple. X is typically gonna be your what? So think about distance rate time. Your rate is always multiplied by your what again? Yeah, your rate and time are always being multiplied. Distance equals rate times time. Think about this like a kind of distance rate time problem where you have distance equals rate times time plus the beginning amount. That's pretty much what this is. Distance equals rate times time plus your beginning amount to get the total distance. That's really what this is. They're one and the same. If you couldn't tell, if you didn't know that, but they are. So here, this is gonna be your time. And this is gonna be your end result after all the time. end result or final amount. Either way you wanna say it, either way it works. But go ahead and write that down. This is again, just talking about this in, 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 as, in, in as simple terms as we can, as blade, or uh, uh, just laying it all out basically. I don't wanna overcomplicate things, just keep things simple. So I'll give you a couple more moments to write this down, but just know, B is your beginning amount, M, that's your slope. Slope is typically given away by the word per. And then you're gonna be talking about X and Y. X is usually time. Y is the end result after all that time. So yes or no, does that all make sense? I know I'm going over a brand new topic in this class, I know, but hopefully we can gather ourselves here and understand that we can do a lot of work with this one idea here. That's your main idea for unit six. It is Y equals MX plus B, but you have to know what Y, M, X, and B are. No, don't put times B, plus B. You would say plus B in that sense. Yeah, exactly. So for those of you who solve this problem without the use of a formula, you're gonna see how this formula actually helps you talk about what you actually did. Here we go. Everyone, let's, let's go ahead and now go over here 
And remember that we have y, m, x, and b. Everyone, let's look at the information. We're looking for how much the, the system costs. We see how much we're saving every week, per week, per. We have this much already saved from the get-go. And then we are saving for six more weeks. So let's go ahead and go from bottom to top. Saving for six more weeks. What value is six to you, everybody? Is that the Y, the M, the X, or the B? That's your time. So yeah, what, what did we say time would be? That would be your X. That would be your X. So I would go ahead and just note that right there. I'm gonna call this X. That's time. Okay, $463 already saved. What would that be in English? Before we talk about the letter, in English, what is that gonna be? Jesse, thank you, your beginning amount. Is that fair, everybody? $463 already saved. We had that saved from the beginning of the problem. That was there from the get-go. Right on. So we'll, we'll write that down there. That is your B amount. All right, next up, what do we have next? Saving $45 per week. What's that gonna be, everybody? What does that sound like to you? Per week, $45 per week. Mixing two units, money per week. Yeah, that's your rate. That is your rate. That is what's consistently happening. Every week, 45 bucks. Every week, 45 bucks. Exactly. $45 a week, that is our rate. So it's your M. And so lastly, everybody, if we're looking for the grand total, how much the gaming system costs, what's that gonna be? Yeah, that's your end result. That's the why. That's the grand total after you're done saving for six weeks. So everybody, do you see how this can actually be quite uh, methodical? Going from the beginning, picking apart the information? Good. Now with that said, let's go ahead, plug this information into the formula, and let's see what we gotta do. Let's go ahead and get it done. So we have again, y equals mx plus b, and I'm gonna replace everything in a moment. So our m was $45 per week. We have that right there. Our x, the time that we are saving for was six weeks and then from the beginning we will add on what we had in the beginning and that's going to be the 463 dollars and there it is now that we know where everything belongs this is actually kind of straightforward would you guys agree now now that we actually have it set up the right way now that we know what was the beginning what the rate was what the time was what we're trying to achieve boom now we can get to what we're trying to achieve we can get the why here we go first things first exactly demarco not so bad we're always one step away right let's be real my hazbat party people you're enjoying this youtube video but why don't you join me for a free class i host a free class once a week for two hours so imagine two hours of free asvab math instruction by yours truly we get to ask questions grow with me raise your score and get the job you want so go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free. And from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. So we have 45 times six. Let's go ahead and do that first. 45 times six. Five times six, that's gonna give us 30. Four times six, that'll give us 24. Carry that three is 27. So we have 270 coming out of that. And then we have 270 plus 463. So that'll be 663. Then that'll be 733 with some mental math. So if we do the math right there, if we add that up, that should be Y equals $733. That's how much this gaming system costs. 
And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.